हेलो एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग ऑल हाउ ऑल यू हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू हाउ टू मॉडल अ थ्री डी एक्सटीरियर सो आई एम वेटिंग फॉर माय स्टूडेंट्स टिल फाइव टेन एंड देन आई विल स्टार्ट विद माय लेक्चर so in my last lecture i have teach you how to download 3d models and the sites from where you can download all the 3d models and in this lecture in today's lecture i am going to deal with my one of my live project Okay so I'll start within 3 minute So after the completion of our three days um exterior then I will start with vire and some of the vray settings and then i'll deal with corona software which is the plugin of 3ds max so Okay so I am going to download my project the 3D file 2D file DWG file So I am not going to create any plan or anything So I'll start with this So let's start. I have pressed Top Z, and now I'm going to select 3ds Max from here. And now I'm going to import, import, and I'm going to import my 2D file. So here's my 2D file. Open. Yes. Okay. So, here's my file.
so I'm going to detach this right click spline and then I'm going to detach this okay so as I have separated this so there must be a raw file over here so I'm going to delete that okay so here's my file so if you want to see that the file in AutoCAD so here's my AutoCAD file and actually this project is a live project and we are going to create the 3D of this project okay, let me show you yeah so this project is one of our uh, belong to one of our client and this project is going to construct in Kangda district HP Himachal Pradesh so this is the plan of our project so I'm going to draw the 3d of our live project so this is the ground floor so okay so now I'm going to create the 3d of this project okay so I have imported the plan okay now I'm going to choose line from here and I'm going to turn on my snap toggle okay and now I'm going to create this wall with the help of line like this okay I'm just clicking on the exterior portion of the wall like this okay so here is the starting point and I'm going to click on the starting point and then they will ask close line I'm going to click yes and I have drawn the line okay so here you can see that line is not in straight direction so I'm just going to pick the vertex from here and right click move in x direction and now I'm going to press 9 inches so here is the line okay so the next step is first step was like I have imported my plan and then I have selected line from the shape and then I'm going to click on the exterior wall exterior line okay and then I'm going to press spline okay and then outline 9 inches okay so here you can see the outline is outside so if I want to give outline inside then I will press minus 9 inches so that it will come inside okay so here is 9 inches now I'm going to extrude okay so after the offset I'm going to extrude this so my extrude will be like 11 feet okay so our walls are ready you can see that clearly okay so the walls are ready and now I'm going to create the windows okay so here we are having dining area and the size of windows are 
seven feet okay so I have selected box and I'm going to reduce the segments one 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 because I don't want to modify this box so here is the length I'm going to increase the length and here width width is okay and now I'm going to increase the height which is seven feet okay so again here is window and again here is another window of bedroom and I'm going to create this window of seven feet again I'm going to pick these two lines and then I'm going to click on this so that the, the height is exact according to this one and then according to uh, yeah so it's ready and here we are having puja room you can see that so if I increase the height of if I take the height of my window like seven feet then there will be no space left for the idol of God inside the puja room so I'm going to take that uh, corner window like four feet or five feet so that the there will be ample space for the idol of God inside the puja room okay so I'm going to take that I'm going to take that like five feet okay and here I'm going to increase the length and width and then I'm going to press S for corner window and here we go okay so here is the door and beside of that here are two windows so I'm going to take their sizes like height 7 feet width 1 feet 6 inches okay like this and here is the kitchen so I'm going to take its size like six feet or five feet six inches okay five feet six inches okay and here is the storeroom let me check maybe yeah so I'm going to take its size like height 4 feet and similarly for this one the same size okay and I think everything is done okay so now I'm going to pick first of all I'm going to pick these uh, windows this one and this one and this one okay this one and this one so here I'm going to press right click move Y direction 1 feet 6 inches okay similarly these two right click move Y direction 1 feet 6 inches okay and here we are having one window I'm going to move this like 3 feet move in y direction like 3 feet and here we are having this window of 5 feet I am going to move this in y direction like 3 feet 6 inches ok and here we are having 4 feet so, so I am going to move this like 4, uh, four feet 6 inches ok and this one is also 4 feet 6 inches ok so here we go we have selected all the windows and now I am going to create the doors 
and again I am pressing snap toggle and now I am snapping the point where we are going to create our doors okay like this okay like this and then uh, we are having one door over here so I'm just keeping that door like seven feet height seven feet six inches is okay okay and now I'm going to increase this and rest is done I think yeah so I'm going to select this compound object probolian start picking and here we go and now I'm going to check all the points so it's done okay and now I'm going to create this one again I'm going to select line and done tracking all the lines like this so if I want to deselect anything like I have clicked here but I want to go back but I don't want to leave my line so I will just press backspace backspace okay like backspace and uh, then I will be one line one point back okay so here 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 and yeah okay so I have created the line by selecting the exterior of my first floor and now I'm going to move this vertex so if I know the exact distance then I will press right click and then move and here is the box move box and here I'm going to put the size like 9 inches and then I'm just going to select spline from here and then I'm going downward and I'm entering the distance okay so again mistake 9 inches minus and then I'm going to extrude this and here we go okay so then now we know the sizes of our window for bedroom and all simply I'm going to select box from here now I'm going to select snap toggle and then I'm going to snap my boxes like this here I'm going to increase the height like 7 feet and then length will be increased accordingly and here is another box again the same process height like 7 feet and here I'm going to increase the length so that extrude will be okay again same thing here we are having another bed room okay so height will be like 7 feet and here I'm going to increase the length okay so here we are having another window so I'm just going to check okay so I'm going to create the window from here so we are going to increase these stair up to mumty okay so I'm going to uh, take this window and I'm not going to set the exact height but I'm going to increase the length okay and this window size will be same as we have taken like 4 feet earlier and this one will also be same 
this one again four feet okay so here we are having door and I'm going to take its size like nine feet okay so yeah yeah here is another door so I'm going to increase its size like seven feet six inches and now I'm going to increase its length okay so I think it's done again I'm pressing F Z for uh, front view and here I'm going to select all the windows of same size okay and right click move in Y direction okay one feet six inches similarly I'm just going to move them like this and yeah so I'm going to select this box the, this object and then compound object pro boolean start picking and then I'm going to cut these boxes like this okay so this is ready and now I'm going to uh, create layers side by side so I'm going to select these two 3d walls and then I'm going to press on layer okay and here I'm going to create a layer 3d walls okay so this is one of the most important part oh. I forgot to cut the door I think so yeah this one start picking and the okay so here we are having 3d walls of ground floor and first floor and now I'm going to create the slab okay so right click hide and selection so here are the lines for our slab so simply I'm going to click on line over here and then I'm going to snap all the lines for my slab like this okay and here and yeah so here is the slab extrude of 6 inches okay and then FZ right click move Y direction and that will be 10 feet 11 feet okay similarly for the second one again I'm going to snap all the lines like this then extrude of 6 inches and then right click move in y direction 11 feet okay and then again I'm going to select these two slabs and I'm going to select layer and another layer I'm going to create and I'm going to give it a name like slab 3d okay and now unhide all okay so the next step is I'm just going to select this one and I'm going to pick this point this point this corner point okay 
and then I'm going to drag this and then I'm going to put this on my current object okay yeah so the next step is here we are having our 3d walls over here and yeah okay so now I'm going to create my windows so I'm going to select these walls only and rest I'm going to hide right click hide on selection and now I'm going to create all the windows okay so there are so many steps like you can just select rectangle and then open this rectangle enable in rendering enable in viewport and you can just set the sizes like 4 inches 2 inches 4 inches okay and then you can just click so that your frame will be created okay like this okay and here you can change the width size if you want to change like I want to change this width size then I can change that to from here okay 4 inches 4 inches like this and then move this inside okay and if you want to If, uh, if you want to create the partition of this window okay so all you have to do I'm just going to repeat this example over here okay so here with the help of rectangle you, uh, you can create the frame of your window all you have to do just select rectangle and then enable in renderer enable in viewport you have to enable these two options okay from here you can set the length width size from here okay and if you want to create the partition all you have to do just select this rectangle and press right click convert to editable spline okay and here is segment all you have to do just select this segment and press shift and you can move this okay if you want to move this as at exact distance all you have to do just right click and then enter the distance like I'm going to move this around to 1 feet 6 inches okay so like this okay so with the help of the same step I'm going to create all my windows okay so here I'm going to change the width size I'm going to take that like two feet uh, two inches okay and here I'm going to repeat this from the beginning okay uh, here I'm going to create this and now I'm going to change the rectangle size like I'm going to take this like two inches okay and now here from here I can reduce the size because
ok and like this so this frame is created and now I am going to create the partition so right click convert to editable spline and here I am going to select uh, segments and then selecting this ok right click move in x direction 1 feet 6 inches ok 6 inches move similarly from this side and if you want to create the at exact dimension at exact distance all you can do just create a 2d of your window and then import that and then all you know how to model that okay so here I have created one window and now I'm going to select shift press shift and then I'm going to copy the same frame like this okay so here is the second window and then again I'm going to do the same process I'm going to select this one and then I'm going to take a copy of this and then I'm going to place this over here okay so you can also use the snap toggle midpoint option for the exact placement of your frame so all you have to do just select that and then select this window and then move this okay but I am just going to do, do this like this okay and then I'm going to use the same window over here top Z over here okay all I need to do just decrease the size with the help of vertex like this okay so I have done an instance I need to create a copy of it so I'm just pressing copy okay so here is the vertex and now I'm going to select this I'm going to move this inside from both of the sides like this and then upward ok ok so your window is created and now I am going to use this window and my as my kitchen window over here ok so hide and selection hide and selection ok so here is my kitchen window all I need to do just select the vertex and then move so as this project is from Himachal so partition win uh, window are must like there is less use of AC or fan ok so here unhide all
okay so here one is left I'm going to select this one and this one right click hide on selection FZ I'm going to select this one and then I'm going to create a copy of it and then right click hide on selection and here we go this is the frame and I'm going to move this downward okay so I think the size is okay and placement is also fine unhide all okay so we are left with these this one and this one and this one and one is here okay and here here yeah so I'm going to create over here right click hide and selection FZ okay so this one is created yeah okay so I'm going to select these walls again right click hide and selection okay FZ F3 and now I'm going to select rectangle from here and then I'm just going to create the rectangle over here so all I need to do is I'm just going to drag this down and now here I'm going to decrease the size 3 feet 9 inches okay 3 feet 9 inches like this I'm just going to move this FZ and now I'm going to create another copy of it over here top Z over here okay and then one another copy over here convert to editable spline vertex select this point and then move like this FZ Uh, I'm going to select this one hi unhide all and I'm going to create a copy of it over here okay so we are left with our doors and uh, our corner windows and here unhide all FZ I'm going to create one rectangle over here like this and the second one over here like this okay so here we are having a corner window right click on hide on selection so I'm going to create a corner window over here so here I have selected rectangle and now I'm going to disable the, these two options right click convert to editable spline and here is segment I'm going to delete this segment okay and convert uh, to editable spline and then spline outline 2 inches inside for the corner window and then extrude 4 inches like this ok so one side is ready ok and then I'm going to rotate this like 90 degree selection and then rotation ok so here I'm going to move this
vertex like this okay so corner window is ready unhide all i'm just checking out okay so these are ready okay i'm going to hide these slabs and all hide hide selection okay and then press fz and i'm going to select these frames window frames and then i'm going to create another layer and i'm going to give it a name like window frame okay so if you are working on 3ds max so this step is very important that you must have to save everything in layer so that it will become easy for you to apply material okay so i'm going to hide all the layers like okay and just i'm going to turn on this window frame and another i'm going to create another layer like i'm going to give it a name like glass which glass window glass okay so all i need to do just press fz and here i'm going to select plane from here and i'm going to select the snap toggle and then i'm going to create this i'm going to give it a color okay i'll do that later I'm just going to check which one is left so these two are left right click hide on selection fz i have selected both of them and then i'm going to create the plane on those windows so no okay so now i'm going to select the layer and i'm going to hide the frame like this and then i'm going to select these all and i'm going to give them another color like i'm going to give them this color yeah so here you can see the basic 3d model of your new project is ready and now i have to increase its size okay so the next step is i have to move the pay uh, the whole house in y direction 3 feet so the height of this house from the base the ground level is 3 feet okay so i have moved that right click hide and selection hide selection now i'm going to create again going to create the wall like this
okay and then extrude this minus 3 feet like this and then I am going to create this stair so height like 9 9 inches Okay, so I'm going to select them one by one and then I'm just going to move them. Okay, so the stairs are ready. I'm going to pick this box and compound object. This one, compound object, pro boolean and union. Start picking. Okay, so this become a single body. Okay, and here is your house. Now I'm going to move this like three feet upward y direction three feet like this okay so your basic structure is ready and here we have to create a dome for our temple so this is mentioned in our plan over here okay here so I'll deal with this later but uh, yeah now I'm going to put this in another layer before of that I'm just checking whether the size of this is okay or not yeah it's not okay so I can increase the yeah i'm going to save this first of all save as save as so the name of our client is rajesh kumar so i'm giving this name hide and selection now I'm going to modify the stairs part okay right click convert to editable poly so I'm just picking the vertex and then I'm going to increase this in X direction minus one feet okay
okay so here I'm going to reduce uh, the size of this one I'm just going to pick the vertex from here this vertex okay and then I'm going to move this over here okay so your basic structure is ready and then I'm going to deal in my next lecture I'm going to complete the basic model of this structure like Monty portion, the back window, the grills, the glass railing or whatever I am going to think about it. Okay and then in the next lecture I am going to deal with that and then material and then camera and setting of sunlight or IES light and then rendering process. So I think that's all for today guys and tomorrow lecture will be on same time 5 5 o'clock and i will start at 5 10 so don't forget to like my video and don't forget to share because my subscribers are not increasing so you can again share the link of my channel so that the subscriber increased so that's all for today guys take care